okay so ra lamba ra ape na pregraders so today ra ba le village differential calculus all right so ra o file any function in function let's just say f of x that function ni ka ba f of x is 5 f of x is x squared plus 3 can be sin of 3x can be any function okay and then really interested in finding the rate of change which is the gradient of that function at any point so as a normal function a can be any function but the one of the gradient i constant like in a straight line more current k just change in y by change in x so gradient ya change at at any given point if there never got a gradient at that point if you interest that in the gradient at that point reason to get a function or gradient gradient okay so so uh there are two ways to regard differentiate the function scalar more grade 12 so the first one key the first principle the first principle each of from uh the derivation is so modularly the x value this is function of f normally x plus h and then y r x plus h because normally x move the error h and then the x move the x plus h so this refer the y value f of x this refer the y value f of x plus h so rare f of x is as if it's an average gradient or gradient just straight line so y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so f of x plus h minus f of x that's y2 minus y1 over uh, x2 minus x1 so in a x plus h minus x okay so okay, x2 minus x1 so we are going to x and x is like cancel and shall like only h all right so and then for this or even correct our age are essentially as small as possible so that's where to introduce a limit when a approaches zero so so come for finding the derivative of any function of any function from first principle so the function that if f of x the derivative of the denoter as f prime of x okay the be denoted as s prime of x over r dy dx over r dx of f of x over dx of y all these things they mean the derivative of uh, f or y okay so this is our current derivative from first principle we use this formula which is based on the average gradient and then it based on the average gradient and then and then a uh, hard limit of your h to be as small as possible okay so we'll go into an example later on uh, about the uh, differentiation from first principle so another uh, method give a file function a in polynomial over a one x plus as a polynomial okay so if we file function ya y e a over x the one x plus as a polynomial to be a x to the negative 1 okay for example so function na ka bele be polynomial or sum of polynomial functions and then for example here but if a in general for a x to the n plus b y to the m plus c so for more of gradient different uh, gradient derivative here na as regard the exponent the multiplier the coefficient okay such as regard a n in this case and then the minus a one from that existing exponent okay yeah uh, again in this case the total exponent ki m multiplied by b ki b m y to the m minus 1 okay so a can be any constant positive negative n can be any constant positive negative same thing as for m and b okay so and then the derivative of a constant c is always zero any constant derivative of a constant is zero because this is the same as multiply by x to the zero x to the zero is one so all the others zero we multiply this is okra zero and then x to the zero minus one but all this is always zero okay so and when i measure our differentiation uh or differential calculus for determine the gradients to the functions at any point or determine the turning point or it will maximize or minimize the functions as we want to get an example to come and then so that's how we're going to apply a differential calculus So from here, are there no more questioning so that we can how can we apply these things and then they prepare for our exams.
Okay, so questionnaire na yema tomo itlo bakatila e. So bara budi chogo re but given f of x elega na le two over three x determine the derivative from the derivative of f from first principle. Okay, so derivative of first principle and then write the our formula ona ekatila e na le f of x. So the derivative of x elega na le f of x plus h. Minus f of x all over h, but this holds true when you decrease h ever in yani. So that's why we apply the limit as h tends to zero. Okay, so I think something important there. Every guy should be sure to approach this. Start by noting your f of x. F of x is just given. We know f of x is really gonna be two over the ray x. And then what is f of plus h? F of x plus h. Elegantly, two over the ray x plus h. Okay, so that's that. So a can can mark already before you do anything. You only have mark it there. Because what I see most people are, but at that one, go start that formula a and then put everything together and then what they mistake. Okay, so now just have f of x have and then overly f of x plus h. Sharp. So now all the so, so you can go ahead with substitute. So now your f of x plus h get two over three into x plus h. Okay, that minus, and then there's only two over the three x, and then all over h when limit h equal zero. So that's okay. So now, na kada wao vuera, wabadi di denominate like over the fraction over fraction. You see, so it gets a bit ugly. So some go on that mistake range. So kada wao represent my age like this. So kutoa le two over three x plus h minus two over three x, and then ki multiply everything ka one over h. So this is still the same thing as what divided by h. And then scale by your limit as h tends to zero. Okay, so now I wanna we are uh, subtract the two fractions. So since you create the lowest common multiple here or lowest common denominator here. Okay, so before get to the, uh, my LCD, I think we multiply this one throughout. So I start gonna leave three x plus three h, and then our LCD now to uh, this denominator multiply by that denominator. So this is over three x. Okay, it's only one over h. So what term a in associated like? How many times does this value it's an this? In other words, the divider the whole value by this. So whenever this it will come to that shall like three x. So now three x multiply by that value only six x. Okay, so minus this minus key. And how many times does three x go into this? So three x, it will cancel at three x. Okay, so after I cancel at three x, I shall get three x plus three h, and then remultiply at two. So it will be two two here into three x plus three h. Okay, all right. So now I guess uh, we still have limit as h tends to zero. We can simplify this further like six x minus six x minus six h, all that over three x plus three h, and then multiply by three x. Limit is h tends to zero, and then let's call it by the one over h. That's very important. Okay, so now we're going to find number six x plus six x. They are cancelling. What I want to show like a minus six h, come over to me. Come faster, show like a three x plus three h multiply by three x. Now finally multiply is one over h. Limit as h tends to zero. Okay. So now because we were writing the whole thing like this, so when it's easy to realize that this h can numerate this. H denominator and I multiply. We can easily cancel them out. 
So what the relay saw then on a corner shall like a minus six all over three. Yeah, what's this? Okay, so all, all over three x plus three h multiplied by three x. Okay, so we still have limit as h tends to zero. But I'm not on a corner. So because we read the h is very very small, the corner one of our h is zero here. Gary cosine this function already been defined. Unlike here, over more, we are h is zero. We divide the whole thing by zero. Then it will be undefined. But because we simplified, so now we can substitute the h is zero. The shallaka so minus six over three x multiplied by three x. Okay. So now also we have limit as h tends to zero because really h are making zero already. So we have another okay. So this is equal to the minus six over nine x squared. Which is minus two over three x squared. So a derivative here in here that function. All right. So a quick way we confirm at least a quick way we confirm from s k bonds here we have not the differential the any 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 polynomial. So now function there now is so p two over three x. The guy read that about two over three x to the minus one. So what differentiate that is the program of a derivative okay this term you multiply this whole thing so we have minus 2 over 3 and then x since the only minus 1 the minus 1 happens to differentiate so you have minus 2 so this is the same as minus 2 over 3x squared which is the same as that so this we're going to use as a confirmation in this case we're going to differentiate it using first principles but at least when I use a citing as a confirmation or go join an exam room which were that question yet the derivative from first principle you can lay full five marks because you can confirm or key differentially correctly uh our next question a consider a but determine the derivative of f if f of x is going to 3 into x squared minus 5 all squared okay so so that to make our f of x elegantly 3 x squared minus 5 all squared okay so we can use the first principle we can use the other method that i showed so mara why can i tell the first principle because it's very long so if i was specify or user which method say the user the one the easiest one quick way out sharp so so that's our f of x so the idea is to write as Klebonchebon basically to write your y as something like ax to the n because we know the derivative eva a n I got this minus that a, this multiplied by that by a n x to the n minus one. So the idea is to write everything more in this form such that it if we we differentiate or what we derive. Okay, so this so this elegantly this elegantly three and then, and then since smoky squared I'll try to get two brackets so now the x squared minus five into x squared minus five okay so that get three and, and then the multiplier out and then the x squared by x squared so get x to the four then Ravali x squared by minus 5, so give minus 5 x squared. Ravali minus 5 by x squared, give minus 5 x squared. And then Ravali minus 5 by minus 5, so that's plus 25. So this is equal to over 3 into x to the 4 minus 10 x squared plus 25. So I multiply 3 throughout, so I'm going to 3 x to the 4 minus 30 x squared then plus 75 so right now this is in that form in like like i want we can easily try differentiator now so now our f prime get derivative here in this 4 multiplied by 3 so get 12 x and then that 4 minus 1 get 3 okay and then this is 2 by 30 so get 60 
x and then 2 minus 1 go 1 and then this one so that's the derivative of, of a constant k is 0 no matter why it is 0 hope along what is 75 so he as, as a constant it's a maybe x to the power 0 okay because x to the power 0 go 1 so such that we differentiate it is 0 multiplied by 75 which is 0 and then uh, which is becomes 0 multiplied by x to the 0 minus 1 k minus 1 okay so now this it is only 0 or in order to multiply by 0 so our final derivative is 12 x cubed minus 60 x so okay our final derivative okay so our next question area determine dy dx get derivative right over if x squared minus 3 is equal to the cube root of y okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to express this equation to something like a i mean y is the same as a x to the n maybe plus b x to the n maybe n minus 1 n minus 2 plus plus b yeah, I go. okay so basically since you have to make out then you can wire it as the, as the subject uh, of the formula. So let me rewriting this. So now x squared minus 3. And then that is going to be 3. The cube root of y. Okay. So this. Rather than x, x squared minus 3. It's going to be y to the 1 over 3. Okay. So if we're going to go to this 1 over 3 here. Raise everything to the power of three. Everything to the power of three. Because who does so real three that cancel on y is equal x squared minus three to the power of three. Okay, so good three mola like this on the y legally x squared minus three multiply by x squared minus three multiply by x squared minus three. Okay, so it's a term. So this by that x to the 4. And then this by that minus 3x. This by that minus 3x squared. So this by that minus 3x squared. This by that minus 3x squared. All the area the alpha minus 6x squared. And then this by that the alpha plus 9. Okay. So I'm directly multiply up again. x squared minus 3. Okay, so what will I do? So what will I do? Or multiply all these terms so tomorrow x squared the multiple throughout this bracket probably x to the six i get the same base the error exponents four plus two k six and then minus and then only six x to the four and then more to value plus nine x squared okay so now that move so a by that minus three x to the four and then minus three by minus 6 plus 18 x squared and then minus 3 by z only minus 27 so we add the like terms root of value x to the 6 and then only minus 6 minus 3 so alpha minus 9 x to the 4 and then more only 9 plus 18 so alpha plus 27 x squared and then minus 27 so now on our dy dx here in the canale, 6 multiplied by 1 which is just 6x and then 6 minus 1 k 5 okay so more than 4 multiplied by 9 so it is 36 so we're going to minus 36 x to the 3 okay and then move 2 by 27 it of a plus 54x okay the derivative of a constant that's a zero so s3 one from the previous example so now this is your final answer okay so question there now that uh, like, involve uh, application here yeah, differential calculus so it's like that's like so but a rectangle with length x and with y is to be inscribed in an isosceles triangle of height 8 centimeters and base 10 centimeters as shown below okay so let you let inscribe the rectangle the rectangle is a triangle 
doing anything too. No, I mean. I'm supposed, isn't you supposed to finish this whole question in English, then do it in Betty? Ah, uh, no, the thing is, I'm gonna erase, erase, erase. So Lenjule is it uh So Lenjule inscribed Nirawari this figure rectangle by looking at a triangle such that Yokuma Masai Dana Huma the side a bigger figure which is the triangle more. So very express y in terms of x. Okay, so an equation now y in terms of x. Okay, so I'll tell you about the survey anymore. But I feel a hint but a triangle APQ get this triangle is similar to triangle ABC get the bigger triangle okay that's why the triangle shape is really similar from a Euclidean geometry mass sides are in proportion okay so this is our for example if you can have this side AP over AB it will be like AQ over AC okay or it will be PQ over BC, all right. Any any other side, it will be in proportion. Okay, so we will finish that. Hint about filling your So the first thing we want to go to this base PQ. So PQ over BC. Get the base. Get base. Yes, smaller triangle over base. A bigger triangle. Eli canale. Century. So I want to y is a perpendicular distance. Okay. And then what I feel like the overall perpendicular height here. Perpendicular height here, the overall yeah, the bigger triangle get 10. Right? Get key, sorry, key 8. Okay, so now a length, perpendicular height here, the smaller triangle. But I wanna okay if more than y and then the overall key 8 so a is in the table 8 minus y okay so that's 8 minus y so i actually put a substitution this one pq where i want to get x and then bc get 10 so that is gonna be 8 minus y over 8 so the kahono now we express a y in terms of x cross multiply so we're going to 10 into 8 minus y. And multiply j. And then more multiply j. We're going to leave 8x. So let's continue more. So minus 10y. And we're going to leave 8x minus 8. Get the rest of 8 guys on the other side. So my fill is going to get my y. And we're going to leave it minus 10. Equal minus 8 over 10 x and then uh, minus 8 divided by minus 10 in power plus 8 so in guys simplify even further like minus 4 over 5 x plus 8 so go okay, we'll express a uh, y in terms of x based on information about the field anyone okay uh question there now let's tell but what never hence show that the area of the rectangle can be expressed as a, which is uh, equivalent to 8x minus 8x squared over 10. Okay, so we can really previously or our y like an element minus 8 over 10 x plus 8. So this is the same as minus 4 over 5. It's exactly x plus 8. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, so now we have our area yeah, this rectangle. So that's our area in like an breath times height okay so breadth area here or parava rectangle arena so key x and then height arena key y but we get the y in terms of x we get the key uh, okay 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 like this minus four or five and then what will i pick on 
but I want to have express as, as 8 over 10, but it doesn't really matter. Three one off club below or kill kill ratio fail. So get a look at la minus 4 over 5 x plus 8. Okay, so I multiply throughout. So I have minus 4 over 5 x squared. Really, and then plus 8 x. Okay, so okay, I want to isolate the exactly. But I just want to isolate exactly. So what I can do is multiply by 2 over 2. So I'm going to multiply by 1. I can change anything. So this is equal to 8 over 10 x squared plus 8 x. So now exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and Oh, shit. God. What did you say here? You multiplied by what? By 2? 2 over 2, which is 1. So I'm going to put the foot for to make it look similar to this one. Yeah, but ideally it's just the same thing. Wait. Now we're the footing again. Here is the way cut it. Okay. 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 So we're going to multiply x throughout and revalue x by this term. We're going to leave minus four over five x squared. And then this by that, diagonally plus 8x. So now I'm gonna go this, it will be the same as minus 8 over 10 x squared plus 8x. So this, now in this form, I'm gonna multiply 4 over 5 cut 2 over 2, exactly the same as, exactly the same as uh, what we're feeling on the re Re-express. So that's come to express an area where we have this little uh, rectangle in terms of x. Okay, so because we've already expressed y in terms of x, we just know the y multiplied by x and then but y re-expressed in terms of x like that. So the final answer here in this one. Okay, question number now let's determine the dimensions in terms of uh, length and width of the rectangle for it to be maximum. Okay. How do we know if uh, rectangle is maximum, in minimum, or what, what quantity, what measurement can we use? Uh, obviously, this can be determined by your area. Area is the area that you can use in rectangle, if you have a competitor, that one. And then the area of this, the area of this uh, rectangle, we found it to be is equivalent to 8x minus 8 over 10 and then x squared okay so area you can relate to be that so i would say like the values of x and y where this area is equal to the maximum okay on a side note this area this area function Quadratic or parabola. Why can it parabola? Because the maximum number or the highest number in x is raised to the two. Okay, so back to algebra standard form. So this is quadratic. So and then can put a rabbit or the coefficient here x is negative. So this is a parabola a face liberty fast. Okay. So the one of the level that I have to okay. If you put a bullet in the middle, it's fast. What I want in a maximum at some point. So now to say that I can get the value of x. If there are this function even maximum, how to create the value of x? The one I look at in the expression of y. The one I look at y. The one I look at full max. So, but how do we find that value of x with this function in the maximum? Okay. So this crack out which are differentiation. Remember, real function is so what we divide it so the function here increase from negative infinity up until this point. So when increase that gradient is positive. Gradient is positive. Okay, so real increase so if it's at a point when the gradient is zero and it will decrease from the gradient is negative. So now I got point zero. 
that's a more gradient value zero. Give me it in the highest one. I wanna gradient value the positive, positive, and then give zero, and then negative, negative. Okay, so now I have more pointing A because I want a more maximum pointing A. Gradient value is zero. Get any point. So, can I go with the gradient that I can differentiate? Declare the derivative of A with respect to X. I like an array. And then that, um, this is the same as 1, 1 times 8, the 8, and then x to the 1 of minus 1, the x to the 0, which is just 1. So minus a times a, so I'll have minus 16 over 10, x to the 2 minus 1, which is just 1. The gradient function here in. So, I got to this gradient function is 0 because I want to retire it at the maximum point. So, Regarding dA, dx, elegantly zero at maximum point. Okay, so this is our range. This is our eight minus sixteen over ten x is equals to zero. So solve for that x value. So the ratio to the other side. That eight elegantly sixteen over ten x. Okay. So, say simply our x e by centimeter. Okay, get a value of that x a to find the maximum area. So, but we still have to find the y. We still have to find the y. So, our y as a value gonna be 8 minus 8 over 10 x. Okay, so where 8 over 8. Minus 8 over 10, you are x e5 centimeters, and then this works out to be 4 centimeters. So when x is 5 and your y is 4, you more than the maximum area, you have this rectangle, this triangle. Okay, you can apply on differentiation here. I will solve the practical questions. Okay, free graders. So, question number nine, my fellow, I got it. But our number a car has four liters of petrol in the tank, and then after driving eighty kilometers, the car has two liters of petrol left. The graph below shows the car's petrol consumption and distance traveled. Okay. So, my fellow, our fellow. But if you lay a graph, a one sign a plot on the petrol consumption versus uh, the distance traveled. Okay, so to make it a point, several films on Amo, which are the important points. So the first point is the car has four liters, the car has four liters of petrol, like uh, so that's four, four liters when the distance traveled is zero. Okay. So this actually the zero is supposed to be here. Yeah. Okay, when the distance traveled in the zero. Alright, so again what I feel after traveling 80 kilometers, petrol is now two liters. So those get the principal feelings on. So what we have to determine the gradient, the gradient of the line L. This is the line L. Okay, because it's a straight line by the so the gradient of straight line give change in y over change in x. Okay, but what is our y variable here? Give petrol. So it have a change in petrol all over change in distance. Okay, so it will gonna be yeah, change in petrol it over it will be four liters. And then now it gets two liters. In that change of petrol, distance away to be zero kilometers, now it gets 80 kilometers. So this is really minus one over 40. The units level for how much over liters per kilometer. Okay, so come for the gram, the gradient. Yeah, this like go on. The last uh, question where it explain the significance of the gradient obtained. Okay, 
okay so we found a gradient from the previous question to be minus 1 over 40 liters per kilometer which is the same as minus 0 0.025 liters per kilometer all right so so now we need to explain what does this mean and the significance the importance here yeah this failure degree line so there are two things here now the gray more from this value the first one is the or the car it consumes 0 0.025 uh, liters per every kilometer traveled okay so the car consumes 0 0.025 liters per I'll just say per kilo traveled okay so then the second part equal what does this negative mean to you get it like on a gradient technically of negative and magnitude the sign and magnitude so the magnitude of a set of which are the car a consumer consumes uh, 0 0.025 liters per every kilo travel and then all right so the second part it has to do lay the negative sign so that one is a negative gradient so this sort of which are you can say the negative gradient gradient implies that the car's petrol decreases as it travels so okay the two points that are out of this the first one key magnitude for the consumer that liters per every kilometer traveled and then the negative sign of the, uh, the negative sign of the gradient of the or the petrol air decreaser in the tank is going to be a travel okay so in this uh, session we have covered differential calculus rotomenegai basics and then after uh, the level of question in your gang first principles then the level of normal differentiation and polynomial and then after uh, the, the application of differential calculus so the next thing to do go apply a differential calculus to the functions this is widely covered in the functions of our next lesson. Alright, thank you. Please subscribe and like this video. Bye.